Hello, everybody. It's meteorologist Hutch Johnson with a quick update on tornado warnings right now taking place in south central North Dakota. Now it's all in the Dickey County area now where the rotation is heading in the general direction of you folks down in the Cullum area, as well as Edgeley, mainly staying over rural portions of the county right now. The newest tornado warning here, as you can see, is in effect until 630, only moving at 10 miles per hour, so nearly stationary. And 1.5 inch hail is and has been observed with this storm. Here is a quick look at some of the uh, radar data from this storm with regards to uh, where the specific location is. We'll look at the spin inside this storm as well. Uh, right now. Now, this is a look at the velocity inside the storm coming up, but the blue areas that you see right here, areas that we do have some hail core potential in and along that Highway 56 corridor. So keep that in mind with these storms as they work their way to the northeast. And again, only 10 miles per hour. The rotation showing up with this storm right here, where you see the reds next to the blues right over Highway 56 and east. So staying in areas just off to the west of Monango right now and to the south of Cullum is where this storm is currently located. Again, with this very slow movement, the rotating part of the storm moving at only about 16 miles per hour, let me redraw this for you, is going to basically keep it over rural portions of the county for the next hour. That's right, the next hour. So um, if you're in the path of this storm in rural portions of uh, the Dickey County area south of Colum and off to the west of Menango. Please seek shelter into your room of the lowest floor. Get out of campers and get out of homes that are manufactured homes and not securely attached to their foundation. By the way, the blue colors you see here, um, the change in color represents 15 minute increments. So it'll be in the dark blue area in the next uh, 15 minutes and the uh, slightly lighter blue area in the next 30 minutes. Again, tornado warning for the storm uh, is issued in the Dickey County area at this time. A quick look elsewhere across the region. We do have some strong storms pushing into uh, the Stutzman County area right now, including Jamestown and Valley City. So north of Jamestown, we have a strong cell up north heading in the Pingree area. A lot of rain with this, some small hail and portions of the cell could approach nickel size, 50, 50 mile per hour gusts possible. Your next round of rain is very heavy from Sanborn, Rogers and Tower City now in the areas west of the FM area. This cluster of storms again moving east at 24 miles per hour. We'll time this out for you. So if you are in Valley City, the windy storms are making their way through your area right now. And again, moving at about 28 miles per hour, so puts it in Valley City by 616, Nome by 635, on towards Tower City by 648. Uh, Fargo is a little bit farther down the line on this particular line of storms, but we do have another round of heavy rain making its way towards us. We are not in the tornado watch, by the way, and a look at those uh, tornado watch locations that we have in effect right now. Uh, it look like this. Go ahead and move a couple things around on my display. My apologies for that. Okay, so here we go. Uh, your watches right now look like this. A tornado watch for South Central North Dakota in pink, including Jamestown, Bismarck, Mobridge, Aberdeen in South Dakota, uh, Gettysburg down to Pier. That tornado watch is in effect until 10 o'clock tonight. I'll keep you posted right here the best I can, and we'll make sure that you have information that can get you up to date on HutchesWeather.com anytime, anywhere. Head over to HutchesWeather.com for the very latest on that. For now, I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Seek shelter if you're in the path of the tornado warned storms right now. Storms approach your area. Check out HutchesWeather.com for the latest. For now, I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Stay tuned and stay safe.